Hello, Gemini. It's my lady from the Ladies Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading, weekly love reading for the week of 8 28 through 9 4 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read them straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. So I want to thank everybody. For like, share, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me, and we can set something up. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. All right, so uh, messages have been coming through, and somebody is not happy with their job right now. Their job is making them feel like a loser. Maybe their boss is just beating them to smithereens mentally right now, okay? All right, let's go back to the love reading. What's going on with Gemini, Gemini, Gemini? What's going on with the Gemini love reading? Eight, 28. Oh, man. Oh, so somebody, boom, out of the blue, I'm done. Yep, somebody is letting go. I feel like this might be more of the Geminis because both of them are upright, but somebody out of the blue took off. All right, so what's going on for the... Gemini, Gemini, Gemini for the week of 8, 24 through 9, 4, 2017. Love reading. Love reading. Gemini. You know, okay, there it is again. So, might be something going on with work or some kind of power struggle in the home. Mm. Okay. So, I feel like you starting to you cutting your feelings off and it's making your partner uh, uh, emotionally drained. But if this is a work situation, you just cut your feelings off for the situations at work. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I feel like somebody might have been, if it's a relationship, we're going to go with relationship because this is a love reading. So it seemed like somebody dumped you because you was too bossy. Like you telling them what to do, not caring about their feelings. They start feeling like you're emotionally draining and they left. That's what I'm seeing here. It's general reading, it could go either way. Wow. Okay, so this even... <laughs> I don't know. So basically some 50 Shades of Grey stuff going on here. Uh, I feel like somebody was getting a little too aggressive. And I mean, I guess this ain't funny. It's not. Because I know how that is. Somebody was getting too, a little too aggressive, taking it a little too far. And it was like somebody just wasn't feeling that anymore, okay? Gemini, Gemini. Yeah, so this is like, whoever this is, this is all uh, all over aspect. It's like uh, outside the home, inside the home, outside the bedroom, inside the bedroom. It don't matter where you were. It's like look at the ground type of situation, you know? I feel like it didn't start off like this. It was normal. Then out of the blue, something happened. And this person just, and I feel like this might be you. This is more of your energies because it's, flat down but I mean it could be done to you too okay Ooh. okay so it seems like here you might be trying to uh, act like you don't see this person dealing with their ex so this person might have left you for their ex and you're trying to act like it's not like that or it could be the other way around, you know? Wow. Okay, so it seems like after this whole situation, somebody left you and moved, with, and moved in with their ex-Gemini. All right. Yep. Um, so here, even though they left you, you're still contemplating them coming back. Like, should I let them come back here after they disobeyed me? Well, I ain't going to say say it like that. But should I come back af here after they left? You know, 
we already had an understanding of what kind of relationship they, you know, that we have. Mm. Uh, so if you want this person back, you will definitely get this person back. They're going to send you a text message and it's success. Okay. Mm. Wow. So I feel like this might be an unstable marriage or somebody is going to tell somebody they want to marry them and they're not ready for that. Yeah. So it seems like it's going to be good but not so good you know because you know if you can't deal with this kind of rough situation now what are you gonna do when you guys get married and it's only gonna get worse all right somebody's stalking look oh my god yeah i bet all right what's going on with the libra libra let me gemini 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 what's going on in love life of the jesus everything all right, so money coming in, somebody returning something that they stole or they lost, somebody coming out of heartbreak, um, somebody's pouring their uh, love out, somebody doesn't want to start a new beginning after a tower card, and uh, somebody recklessly spending money. So, I don't know, it seems like one party wants you might be thinking about this person coming back, but this person ain't thinking about coming back to you. Okay. Wow, so that little happy ending stuff, it could have possibly been in your head. Okay, so. Ooh. So you guys may end up in court about this or have ended up in court about this situation. And it seems like it might have ended up in your favor. Like there's being a little too rough. Okay, so. Oh, my God. Okay, so somebody might have been pregnant. All right, let's go. What's going on with uh, Gemini? Gemini, 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 824 through 94, 2017 love reading. I don't know why my hands are, like, itching like crazy right now. My hands, my face, everything. All right, there it is that again. Mm. That, that card to me says somebody telling you they love you, but they not sure about it. Okay. That's somebody want revenge for something you didn't did to them in the past. Mm. And this is trying to recover that situation. So somebody's trying to recover whatever. Whoop. That was a big boo-boo. Sorry. That's just this itching thing is messing with me right now. So after this, I don't know. I might have to be the last one for today. So, we got the Eight of Cups, and it's upright. It says, um, it may be time to move on and start new plans. Do not uh, let your pride stop you from making a change. So, this makes me feel like this goes to the people who are trying to go back to a, a um, I'm going to call it an s and M relationship. Uh, it's basically like you are getting ready to go into something that you really don't care for. And I think you might be thinking more so of, oh, I'm getting ready to get married. I need to get married because I'm so whatever age or um, whatever this, I need to get married. But it's going to end up like kicking you in the butt because it's for the wrong reasons. It's what other people think and not what you think. Just because you feel like you should be married don't mean you should go on with some kind of situation where you're treated like you don't want to be treated. It's not for everybody, you know? All right, so... Queen of Swords reversed. All right, so unresolved issues, revenge, and misdirected anger. So unresolved issues. Um, I don't know. I just felt like this person. Once you leave them, you're not gonna marry them. If you don't marry them, if you don't do all this stuff. That they want you to do they're going to move on and get somebody else and it's going to piss you off if this isn't hasn't already happened you know so we got the four of swords it says can indicate lack of sleep can show a need for some time away from a negative situation possible illness yeah i feel like this is you leaving a situation so you can think about it and see what you want to do so this is that all right so we got the ace of staffs Ace of Staffs. And it's upright. A card 
a great time to start a new business, business ventures, proposal, new career, childbirth is possible. So some of you guys might be the starting a new business or your partner might be pregnant. And that might be the reason why they're thinking about staying or going back or whatever the situation is. But that's all I got for you guys. Make sure you check your sun and moon and rising signs. Anything that's in your chart. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, have a wonderful, wonderful week.